as Coach Josh says, let's get this party started. Get it going. All right. So, guys, it is gratitude month, and I am not going to ask you what you're grateful for, but there's a really, really great suggestion on an exercise that you can do as far as your gratitude is concerned, and that would be if you got rid of all of your possessions in your life, except for your three things that you could not live without, what are those things and why are you grateful for them? So if you have a gratitude journal, awesome. Maybe that's a way that you can express your gratitude is like thinking about those objects that you have in your life and why they're so important to you. And you can write it out. Um, if you don't have a gratitude journal, let me know and I'll give you one. I still have a few left upstairs. So, and the gratitude journal basically is a journal. It's just a book. So that's, that's where that is. All right, we're gonna start with the jumping jacks. I'm gonna count the first five. You're gonna count the second five and go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, oh, seven, Ricardo. Eight, nine, ten. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. Last set. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, we're going to do some standing in place stretches, stretches. So what we're going to do is knee to chest, knee to chest, just standing in spot in situ, knee to chest. All right. So I underestimated the amount of people in the class. Um, Ricardo, you might want to grab this pair of fives over here and there might be a pair of 15s or 20s down there. So grab two pairs. Yeah, guys, really get that pelvis forward as you're really pulling that knee into your belly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. One second, let me get some music on. Alexa, play Monday to Monday playlist. Monday to Monday from Josh and Spotify. All right, All right. Next, we're going to do our walking quad stretch. Walking quad stretch. So we're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg. Ricardo, go ahead and give me some jumping jacks to start, okay? Yeah. Nice job, guys. As I fall over. Ugh. Woo! All right, one more on each side. Great. All right, guys, next, you're going to reach towards me. You're going to bring your shoulder blades up to your ears. Then you're going to reach out of your arms. Then you're going to bring your shoulder blades down to your hips. And then you're going to bring them together at the back. You're going to come up to your ears, out, down, and back. So make these nice big circles with those. Ten. 
that direction, and then we're going to go 10 the other direction. I know, right? Yeah, you really have to concentrate on it. It's a lot easier when we're moving our entire arm as opposed to just our shoulder blades. But this is really good because this is going to really help you turn on those shoulder blades. So like, guys, when I'm talking about doing bench presses or anything like that, and I'm saying bring those shoulder blades together, like I really want you to squeeze and rotate those shoulder blades together. And that's what you're really trying to do in this movement here. All right. Awesome. So now we're going to bring our legs out wide. We're going to go opposite hand to opposite foot. Getting those hamstrings warmed up, getting our abs warmed up, arms. Nine. Doing about 10 on each side. All right. Then. We're going to revisit our homework for last month when we went into this deep, deep squat. We're grabbing our toes, we're rotating out, we're rotating out, and then we're coming up, bringing our chin to chest, coming back down, rotate up, rotate up, chin to chest. Give me five on each side. I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling that tendon work. Wow. Wow. All right, we're rolling it up. Okay, so now we're going to come into that really long side lunge. I want you to get as low as possible with this. You're going to walk your hands out into that high plank. You're going to come back in, getting low, and then you're going to rotate towards that long leg. Come back out. Rotate in, I'm just come back in, rotate, yeah. Trying to stay as low as you possibly can, coming into that high plank, getting that butt in line with those shoulders. Oh, rotating. Rotating, one more time. Nice. All right, guys, let's grab our bands. You don't have your band? Grab it from the wall. I don't have the red one yet anyway. Okay, that's okay, but you sh just remember to bring your bands. Okay. Okay, Jennifer's my problem child today, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we're going to come down. I want you to grab your band low. I'm going to come up into your RDL. Chris, I totally forgot to do our tendon work this morning. Yeah. We were supposed to do three sets of 60 of Vs. Yeah. That was, a long, that was a long workout. It seems like that would be really hard to do. Chris was here this morning, guys. He's doing a twofer. A twofer. <laughs> Give me 10 of these. All right. Then we're going to go into our upright rows. So we're going to grab our band, leading with those elbows back down. All right. Now, guys, we're going to take our bands. We're going to cross them. All right. We're going to take a step out to the right and in. Out to the left and in. We're going to go 10 on each side. Woo. Feeling that. Feeling it. Mr. Roboto walk. Uh. 
Awesome. Let's go ahead. We're going to do our over and over and overs, getting our upper bodies warmed up. Ten to the front, ten to the back, trying to get close with that band to my head. Oh. Then we're going to have our hands come out from our shoulders. We're going to do our pull aparts. Is traffic really bad today? It just seems like there's so much traffic noise out there today. Yeah, that's why I was late. Oh, okay, yeah. I've been not planning for things to take very long. Yeah. I was going back to normal. <laughs> was your bus late? Um, actually, I didn't realize that was happening. I was like walking up like, the city. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I didn't realize that it was happening. That. Ricardo's being grateful, walking gratefully, thinking grateful thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's get these bands up underneath our pits. Hooking it onto our thumbs. Uh, really pushing out, guys. Really spreading out those shoulder blades, squeezing, squeezing those glutes. All right, next, let's stand on our bands, get wide with it. Let's get our squats warmed up. We're gonna get coming to this front rack position with elbows raised. I want you to get those knees out, come back up. Woo, ass to grass. Get low, get low. So I just started getting sore from Monday. Oh yeah, yeah. So what did I do? I did like 180 of those squats on Monday, and then we did the same class last night. I did 60, and then I was out. I was like, no, so fatigued. All right, now that we're standing on our bands, let's do our bent rows, so grabbing low, squeezing those shoulder blades at the top, really getting that butt to that back wall. All right, then we're gonna take the band around one leg, put the band around your neck. We're gonna go ahead and do some reverse lunges. Do 10 on one side and then the other. Staying upright with this, don't lean over on it. I'm trying to get that back knee about an inch off the ground. Then step into it with your other leg. Whew. Yeah, come out of it, stand on your band. Front raises, yeah. Just come in shoulder height, getting those arms straight. <laughs> I bet you wish you brought your orange band. <laughs> Jennifer pays the price of the red band. You can always step on it with one foot and then do it so you get your arm straight, yeah. I was thinking it'd be great for bullet, you have to do like the number of a certain exercise. Yeah. Like since I was late, I four. <laughs> Star pull aparts, guys, star pull aparts. Making sure you get high with the one arm, low with the other. Everybody's playing their music really loud today. <laughs> I hope that's the guy with the bike and the trailer off the bike and the uh, generator with the boom box. I love that guy. <laughs> yeah. 
nine, and ten. All right. Everybody feel warmed up? Does it feel like a thing? All right, let's grab some water. <laughs> Good to see you, Jennifer. <laughs> nice, nice work. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Look at these early peoples. All right, guys. So we have our split squats. Now, you can choose to either use your heavier weights with this or your lighter weights. But just know that when we do our ISO hold, our, our split squat ISO hold, you're probably gonna have to go to your lighter weights for your lat raises, you know, so, but it's no big deal to switch it out because we're gonna take our time with this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna practice one time through. So I got my toe up in the back. And then what I'm doing is I'm coming down. I've always had that toe raise in the back. Now, if you wanna make it easier, you're gonna lock out both legs at the top. If you wanna make it harder, don't lock out that front leg. Only come partial up. So you're keeping constant tension the entire time. All right? So it's totally up to you which way you wanna do that. But I want you to stay upright with the body. Ugh. All right. Then I'm gonna switch it out to the other leg. Same thing, if you've done it with your legs, Locked out, keep it going. Locked down on both sides. Don't do partial on one side and then halfway on the other. So I'm gonna to try to do it so that I don't come all the way up, keeping that constant tension. Ah, 10, nice. So now I'm gonna switch out to my lighter weights. I'm gonna go back to my original leg I'm gonna hold it as low as I can in that split squat, and then I'm gonna do lat raises, all right? 10 of those. <laughs> Did you choose poorly? You only grabbed one set? That's all there are? Um, I got some fives over here. Do you want those? Yeah? Then guys, what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch it out to the other leg same thing, you're gonna hold it in that ISO hold split squat and then do 10 more lat raises. Uh. Now, if the weights that you have are too heavy and maybe you're at a five, you can grab a three if you need to or you can just do arm raises. That's fine too, you're gonna get a lot of work out of that, especially with that ISO hold on that leg, all right? so. That is our first circuit. Yay! That was the warm up. We're gonna do this three times, okay? So, let's get a little bit of rest. Set the timer. We'll get about 45 seconds of rest. Caleb, do you wanna grab? You wanna grab them? Can you do less? I want, I want the reps. I want the reps, yeah. Is that, yeah? Are you? Do you want my eights? All right. Are you okay with touching them, Caleb? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So that was probably about 45 seconds of rest if I actually started the clock. But. Now we're gonna go into it. So 12, sorry, 12 split squats. 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then we're gonna switch it out. Nothing makes me feel more alive than a split squat. And hamstring curls. <laughs> and I can list off probably about 20 other exercises. <laughs> exactly. If you're doing a lockout, 
on one of the sets, maybe try one of the sets where you're only coming partial way up. Switching it out to our original leg, coming down into that ISO hold, and then 10. So try to come out just to shoulder height, Chris. All right, switching out to the other leg. Arms are slightly bent, elbows are slightly bent. <sighs> Holy poop. Oh man, let's get at least 45 seconds of rest, guys. Water, water. Ha, ah, that was set one. Good times. Woo! So guys, when you're doing the lat raises, try to just come up to shoulder height, all right? Don't go beyond that. Just come up to shoulder height. There we go. Get that extra bonus of the warmth. I thought I was going to stay cooler today, but I guess I thought wrong. Eek. Oh my God. Courtney, when you came in, I thought you were Emily because Emily had that shirt on yesterday. And I was like, <laughs> all right. That was probably about 45 seconds of rest. Woo, jelly legs, jelly. Heh, heh. This time I'm going to lock it out because last time I just did a partial. <sighs> Try not to roll up on that toe, Ricardo. Keep that, fo that full uh, foot on the ground. Yeah, just your back toe is up. <sighs> it's funny, you can't cheat when you're in bare feet. You can totally see what your feet are doing. It's gonna help, it's gonna definitely help form. It's gonna definitely strengthen those feet, which is gonna help out those hips. Yeah. Yeah. So don't lean forward, Jennifer. Try to come straight down, don't lean forward with it. So you're bending a little bit at the top or at the bottom. There you go, there you go. All right. E gads. Switching it back out. Ah, now I can't remember. Ah, ah. Really think about your shoulder blades with this, guys. Think about those shoulder blades really rotating as you come up with the dumbbells. Ah, whoa. Think about the part that's moving. Think about the part that's isolated. Think about where you feel it. Oh man, <laughs> that's a burner. Wow. You feeling that Chris? Oh man, those two workouts in a day. That's rough. I'm definitely feeling it. All right guys, we'll take at least 45 seconds of rest. Definitely hydrate. It's warm in here. Yeah. Ah. It's really funny. It's really funny. Good job. Good job. You know what? You might use them later. Who knows? <laughs> I love thoughts of thoughts of overachievement and goals back in the day when we used to all be Arnold Schwarzeneggers in here. <laughs> Whew. All right, getting close. This is gonna be our last set. Yeah, it is. All right, woo, jelly legs, jelly legs. 12, split squats, ah, ah, ah. All right. 
right, switching it out. These are also called 90-90s. Locking out that glute at the top. If you're going straight legged at the top. Ah. Ye gads. This is when we all turn this into a speed strength day and we're like, oh, oh, get it done with, get it done with. But don't, take your time. Three, four, five. Switching it out. What the what? That was something. That was really something. Woo! All right. Guys, I forgot that we do need mats. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand you out some mats. Whoop, get my mask on. Ah. Ah. Troubles with masks. Just throw them at you. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> now, now in infamy, everybody will know you were late. I was late. I'm chatty. <laughs> everybody at home loves it when people in here are chatty. They feel the energy of the class. It's really good. <laughs> no, it's good. It's Courtney. Thank you. Mr. Joji. And Chris. What was that? Um, this is it. This is my this is my full class right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, except for Viviana. Viviana will be in next week. She's been uh, healing that ankle. Oh, nice. So now she's finally coming in next week, which is great. So guys, we got our dumbbell high pulls. So for my dumbbell high pull, while you're resting, I'm going to go ahead and demo. So I come into that RDL, and then I come up on my toes and then back down as I go into this upright row. So what's gonna keep you up on the toes is locking out those legs and locking out those glutes. It's not just a matter of locking out your glutes, right? It's really locking out those legs at the same time. Think about coming up onto that big toe. That will help you from rolling out on your ankles as you're doing this, all right? So coming up, holding it for a second, coming back down. We got 12 high pulls. And then we have squat to ISO overhead press. If your weights are too heavy, go to your lower weights. If your lower weights are too heavy, go to your heavier weight and just do one, right? So that's gonna be our squat to ISO overhead press. And then we have our kneeling dumbbell curls. So, grab my mat, gonna double it up. Really feeling the tension in my knees, tension in my glutes. So I go into my curls. I'm not throwing my body, making sure that I'm extending those arms each time with that, all right? So for that first round, you might play with your weights, okay? We're gonna do three sets of this, all right? So we got our dumbbell high pulls to start. All right, so that's the RDL, bringing that butt to that back wall, staying in those lats. Coming up onto those toes, I just did the thing I wasn't supposed to by coming out. I want to come up onto that big toe, lock out those legs. 12 of those. So feel it in the hamstrings when you're low. Then, 
again, I have my squat to hold to my overhead press. So I'm staying active with this. I'm not sitting down into it. Twelve, twelve, twelve. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> That's what the board says. Then I have my kneeling curls. Again, if your lower weights are too low and your heavy weights are too heavy, maybe just grab one of your heavier weights, right? That's fine too. Let's take 45 seconds of rest to a minute. Ha ha. Getting our water. Woo. Nice speed, Juliana. Good job. Was that? Your knees are sweating. <laughs> no, but it did it yesterday when I was doing the same thing again, you know? It's so funny because it's almost like a horror movie where you just have like a little pipe of water and it's like, like the blood squirts. It's like that with sweat in my elbows. I don't know what it is, what kind of freak show sweat glands I got. <laughs> it's Sesame Street, we all play along. All right, guys, we're still resting. Hope everybody grabs some water. Woo. Do you ever get a massage and you get the lines in your face from the massage? And then you realize that the longer it takes for the lines to go away, the more dehydrated you are. Man, I was so dehydrated yesterday. I just had this constant line in my face. It's like, damn it. All right, let's do this again, because it's so fun. All right, high pull, getting into that RDL. I want you to really consciously think about that RDL that you're setting up with before you're coming into that upright row, locking out those legs and the glutes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah all right squat hold with overhead press Nice, Caleb. Caleb gets low. <laughs> really bring those hips forward, guys. Squeeze those glutes. Feel like you're pressing the earth apart with your knees. And they're really extending those arms. 12. You got it, you got it. What? All right. <laughs> Don't die. Don't die. All right. We are resting. We are hydrating.
like, Jennifer, I can... <laughs> It is a dumpster fire, you're right. Oh my God, it's so good. There's this really great, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with um, Tokyo, I think it's called LA, LA Tokyo or something like that. It's like they sell like anime kind of toys and stuff. They had this great little vinyl of a dumpster fire and it is the cutest little dumpster fire I've ever seen. I love it so much. I really wanted it. They only made it a limited edition of like 100. It was like, oh my God, these dumpster fires are gonna go like crazy. They're cute, they have little smiley faces and stuff. Anyway, I'll post it on the secret group. They were really awesome. But when I think of dumpster fires, I think of cute little dumpster fire. Yeah. So you have a cute dumpster fire going on. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, this is our last step. <laughs> so guys, when you're doing these, these high pulls and you're in that RDL, don't forget to stay in those lats. Don't reach out of those arms. Keep those lats really engaged, then come up and then back down, staying in those lats the entire time, yeah? See if I can do this. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Oh, get lower, Jennifer. Get lower. My goodness. My goodness. Get low. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, prison muscles. There you go. Don't let those hips rock back. Keep those hips forward the entire time. Just 12. No idea how many I just did. Damn it. <laughs> You got it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Keep those hips forward. Keep those hip, keep, keep those glutes on. You got it. Go, 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 go. Yep. One more. One more. You got it. Ah, yeah. Nice muscles, Magoo. Look at you. <laughs> now your arms are worthless for the rest of class. Good job. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh, did you did you miss this one? Did you did you miss that one? Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be. This is part of our tendon work, guys. But this is gonna be upper body tendon work today. Upper body, giving our lower bodies a little bit of breaky poo. Yeah. What is that? This is actually going to be in from a kneeling position. So we're going to be on our knees. Then we're going to do overhead press for three sets of 60 with a minute of rest. Uh huh. Oh no! Uh oh. Uh oh. So, guys, for anybody who has exposed knees, you can also put the band underneath your mat so you're not ripping the hair off your knees. Yeah? So, unless you like that look, that's fine. You know, bald knees are super sexy, right? <laughs> All right. When you are ready, start your engines, squeeze those glutes. Elbows in at the bottom, out at the top, making sure you're coming all the way down to your rib cage with it. Three sets of 60. I think we can all do these. Four 
or not. I started to get fatigued. <laughs> Seemed easy at first. You can do that. All right. 20 more. 20 more. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay. So guys, when you're on your minute of break, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and push your butt under your back of your heels and I want you to reach underneath your arm, try to get that shoulder to the ground, then come back up. Give me five on each side of those if you're taking a break which you all will need to take a break. I'm just trying to get through my first set of 60. Got this. You can be tired. You just can't act tired. So we figured out how to protect your knees, but how do we protect those, those little delicate arm hairs? Huh? Getting, getting uh, waxed. I'm on to you when you speak your thoughts loudly. I'm on to you, Jennifer. <laughs> Snap. Oh, my brand, my band broke. I win. All right, guys. When you're on your second rest period, what I want you to do is I want you to stand up, just get some blood into those legs, and I want you to do your walking quad stretch. All right? And give me five on each side for those. I could make it easier for a second.
All right, give me as many as you got, guys. Give me as many as you got. If you can get 20 on your third set, awesome. Super proud of you. When you're done with how many ever you're gonna do, because I'm not sure I have another 60 in me, go ahead and give me cat cows and then I know you're done. I got guys that's all i got all right so we're all doing cat cows how many times what do you uh three sets josh or what are you saying one set yeah two sets courtney. nice courtney way to go Yeah, girl. Nice. All right. Guys, since we're in this down position, we're going to get set up for our homework with our knee grabs. All right. So guys, we're gonna do this like a Tabata. So we're gonna do 20 seconds of knee grabs, 10 seconds to transition, 20 seconds of push-ups, either strict, eccentric, where you slowly lower yourself down three counts and then you just pick yourself back up, or you're doing archer planks, all right? And then we have 20 seconds of mountain climbers. So you can either do cross body or regular mountain climbers, your choice, whichever feels better on your hips, okay? So, getting my Tabata, tabata clock, Tabata clock. And we're starting with our knee grabs. And we're going. Really making sure you're getting those feet flat on the ground at the top. Three seconds. All right. Coming over into either our push-ups, our eccentric push-ups, or our archer planks. Archer planks, I'm doing this. Nice job, warriors. All right. Transitioning into our mountain climbers. Ha 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 ha. Here we go. Make sure to get those shoulders over those wrists. Trying to get those knees as close to those elbows as possible. So guys, what are we doing? We got a couple of minutes left. Let's give our hips some love. Let's go ahead and get into our shin box position. You can either be on your mat or scoot it away, whichever is better for you. Then we're just gonna do some shin box transitions. So if you can go overhead with your arms, fantastic. If not, I want you to make sure you keep that back straight so you can put your hands behind you in order to keep that back straight. So now my feet are together on the bottom and then I'm keeping my feet in the same place each time as I rotate out. So now I'm facing this wall. Now I'm coming into that foot. Yep, there you go, Caleb. Yep, and then you're facing that way. There you go. 
Yeah, giving some hips, some lovin's. Is this okay? Was that? <laughs> Go ahead and give me ten on each side. If you're traveling with it, don't worry about it. That happens. All right, guys, with your next ones, what I want you to do is get that belly button in line with that knee, and I just want you to fold over. I want you to keep your back as straight as possible, so I don't want you to curve your back. Keep your back flat, come back up, transition, come over to the other side, get that belly button lined up with that knee, come over, come back up. Go ahead and give me three of those on each side. Yeah. Okay, yeah, put that other arm up. Yeah, and then really bring that hip forward. Yeah, good job. All right, great job, guys. Okay, that was awesome. You guys killed it. That was a, that was a killer, killer workout. Thank you, Coach Josh. Yay. Guys, I'm grateful for every single one of you. Again, if you want to try that gratitude exercise, just think of the three possessions that you cannot do without in your life. And why are you grateful for them? Why do they matter so much to you? Write it down, all right? And don't forget, if you ever, um, you can either uh, uh, fill out your gratitude um, sheets in the back and stick it in that jar, or you can always text me your gratitude, because at the end of the month, I'm gonna hang them up on the wall, all right? There's Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer. Jennifer, we're starting now. Come on, come on. Uh, 